guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be this makeup tutorial I actually posted details about this makeup um, sometime last week on my Instagram and a lot of people like this look so so I went ahead and recreated this look for you guys I really hope you enjoy it it's really simple but it, but it's very sultry at the same time so yeah I had tons of fun filming this I hope again you enjoy it Thank you for watching and if you guys want to learn how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching so i'm first going to take my nyx eyeshadow base in the color skin tone you guys know that i always use this and i'm just going to take a synthetic brush and apply that all over the lid now i'm just going to set my eyes with the wet n wild creme brulee eyeshadow this is just going to help the blending process be a little bit easier now i'm going to take this first color on the chocolate bar palettes by too faced i don't have that sheet anymore so i don't remember what color it is but i'm pretty much going to be applying this all over the crease this is going to help with the blending as well as the transitions of the colors i will make sure to list exactly the colors that I am using in order. The next color is this one right here. It's a really nice like peanut butter type of color and this is just gonna go on top of that first color that we apply. It's all about just stacking the colors together so I'm just going to be applying this on top of that first color. Now I'm going to grab this color right here and it's just a darker version of this one and again I'm going to do the same method. I'm just going to be applying it onto my brush and then packing it on again to the crease and blending everything together. I'm going to just kind of wing this a little bit like this just so it can create a little bit of a cat eye type of effect. So to look something like this at this point, you can just stop here and not add any additional colors. So the final color that I will be adding is this really dark brown. Um, this one is kind of a black. So I'm just going to pick that up and again, just do exactly the same thing as we did um, the other times. I'm not going to pack this one on too much. But I'm going to, again, just apply it to the outer crease like this and then bring it in now I'm going to take um, that white or that off white type of color and I'm going to be applying it to the brow bone just so we can define our brows a little bit more that's also going to help bring these colors down a little bit. Now to add just a little bit more of a pop to the eye, I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer. And I'm going to be applying this pretty much just here. Now I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to take a brush and apply a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm going to wet it so I can get a really nice metallic effect. I'm not going to bring it too high up because I kind of want this smokiness to be pretty much the main focus of the eye. Now for the tear duct, because I want something really nice and bright, I'm going to go back in to Shimmer Shimmer. And as you can see, this thing is bright. So I'm just going to pack it on to the inner corner and drag it down just a little bit. This is just going to give us a really nice effect to the eyes like make them look really nice and big i'm going to go in with the nyx pencil and this is the wonder pencil and i'm just going to be applying this to the waterline um again this is just going to um make our eyes look a little bit larger and more awake so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and apply my eyelashes as well as my eyeliner if you guys want to see an eyeliner tutorial let me know and 
I will have a tutorial for you guys. So I've already primed my face and I did use a little bit of a like a luminous type of thing. So now we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I am in the color 108 Caramel Beige. And I'm actually gonna take that on a flat top kabuki brush. This is by the brand Beauty Junkies. And this honestly reminds me so much of the Sigma F, what is it, F80 or something like that. So I'm just gonna take that all over the face. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. And I need my mirror. <sighs> With my foot. Baby, I'm going to bañar. Ya voy ah. a acabar. ¿Ah? Digo que ya te vayas a bañar. Ya me vamos a dar. No. Yes, thank you. No. No, no, stink. Now for the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. <laughs> and I use the color Medium Neutral. I've been wearing this concealer non-stop. Honestly, after you try this concealer, you won't want to wear anything else because it's that amazing. And sorry, I'm just going to drag that on. My favorite way of blending out my concealer is with a beauty blender. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and blend everything. Now I'm going to go in and set my concealer. I've been using this Airspun Loose Face Powder, which is so amazing. I love it. What I like to do is I just like to place it onto the lid. And then, because I am going to go out, so I want to make sure that all my makeup stays in place, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to grab a shit ton of stuff. And I will be doing the cooking method. So while I let that settle in, I'm going to go in with my Nikki Garrett's um, Contour Duo. And I'm going to take an e.l.f. angled blush brush and I'm going to be chiseling out my cheekbones. I'm going to drag that down. Y'all know that I gotta hide that double chin. Take a little bit to this very nice large forehead my mother gave me or whoever gave it to me. So now I'm just going to take a big brush like this. This is by the brand 6 Plus and I'm just going to whoop, dust everything off. And this will literally, and this will literally just keep my contour on fleek. I'm gonna take this bronzer. This is the one that I got in my um, boxy charm. This is by the brand Model, and it's a bronzer. I'm just gonna take it in that brush that we used to swipe off. Swipe off. Oh, I can't talk. And I'm just going to. Now I'm going to apply blush. This is a Milani blush in the color Rose D'Oro. And it's a really pretty like peach. But it has a little bit of like pink. Like a little bit of maroon and a little bit of gold. I don't know. It's pretty and I love it. And this is the Sigma Large Angled Contoured F40.
Now to highlights, I will be using this. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection um, highlighter, and this is in the color Hollywood Boulevard. You will see how pretty this is. That thing broke, so that's all right. We shall make it work. And I'm going to take it on a brush like this. And I will be applying about 8 pounds of highlights. I'm going to take some two Cupid bow chin down the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on the forehead just so we can be a glowing around all right so now that i look like a frosty the snowman with all this highlights we're gonna move on to lips so for the lips i'm gonna go in with the la girl matte flat finish pigment gloss and this is in the color rebel I do have a full swatches of these, so if you're interested, click that little link. What I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously apply it on my lips. Now for my top lip, because it is rather small, I am going to overdraw it just a bit. And I'm not going to talk because I can't talk and apply lipstick. So... So after you apply your lipstick, you are done with this look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, then give me a thumbs up. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.